Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Kalia Brewers Advent Calendar. So this will be part one of our month-long series of the Kalia Brewers Advent Calendar. Um, if you haven't seen this thing, it's this giant like 28 beer pack at Costco that they sell. And the idea is that it acts like a, uh, an advent calendar where you open one beer per day for the entire month. And then it tells you kind of like what the beer is, what you're supposed to expect out of it. Um, so yeah, and it's apparently it's like app compatible somehow where you can scan the beers and then it'll tell you all about, I mean, it says on the back some of it, but it tells you all about the beer that you're about to indulge in, um, much like sort of like an untapped lookup, I guess. Yeah, it looks somewhat similar to untapped, even the same color scheme. Um, yeah. It's a similar structure, but it's, I think it was, the app was solely produced for these types of advent calendars and, and the US gets a certain, you know, advent calendar and then germany gets one and then like the Austria selections gets, are different per right, country they're all different right right so the beers in each of the boxes are going to be different too well today we've got the schnitzel baumer lager beer hellas or lager beer hell is what they call it so ugh. brewed in trunstein the city of beer trunstein um it's a bunch of german and it's, it's, a, it's a real German beer. I did read on their website, why cans, why not bottles? And simply because transportation is easier and it, it weighs less, less. Yeah. yeah, that's that's one thing. And then the other thing is like it keeps fresh. So um, those are the reasons there. So you just basically scan the barcode on the back. There's no QR code, unfortunately. That would be really cool. But I guess they haven't implemented that. So you get that little icon, you just type it or tap it. Type it. And then you get kind of like a quick review of the actual beer, the alcohol percentage, the rating, and you can rate it yourself. And you can see comments and what other people have spoken about. I mean, this is it's untapped for for yeah. this particular pack, really. What do we what do we what does it say about this beer? It's five percent. It's a Hell's Lager. Yeah, light and tasty. Goes well with salads, fish, and poultry. It looks like a clear German beer to me. Yeah. It got good color. Okay. For for such a light beer, it's got pretty good lacing. Yeah, the, the head looks really good, actually. <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's take a nose on this one. Yeah, I mean, it smells it smells crisp and, and like light. a lager, like like like, your, uh, like a typical lager would smell. And it's got notes of like hay, and it's got the... Some cereal notes in there. Yeah, a little biscuity. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't smell too uh, pungent or aggressive or anything like that, but um, it smells like beer. So let's uh, bottoms up. See what's up. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. Kind of unremarkable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it. So if anybody's ever had a Budweiser overseas, they're much better beers. Kind of reminds me of that. Kind of reminds me of just your your basic lager. Like it's nothing to write home about. I'm not getting any sort of like really danky hop presence or anything like that. There's no sort of like crispness to it. It just right. kind of is a beer, you know? So I'm getting all the aromas and when I took that first sip, I was expecting, you know, a little crispiness, you know, um, a little bit more bitterness and instead I got nothing. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of unremarkable. It really does taste quite bland, actually, if I'm being mm -hmm. honest about it. It's a little, it's a little too light. Yeah. It's lacking, deceiving. Yeah, it's lacking body, it's lacking flavor, but it has the aroma down. Mm -hmm. I mean, it smells good. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know, not a great way to start. But it's still totally drinkable. Still totally a German beer, and it still totally bests any American beers that, that exist, in my opinion, so whatever. So part of the reason why I got this advent calendar is because I've always seen it come up 
every year and it's kind of pricey i feel like for what you it? get you know it's it, they, it's around 60 dollars at costco and it's 24 beers so you drink one beer a day leading up until christmas eve i just think that's a bit cost costly so yeah. i've never really gotten the box but this time i went ahead and i got the box just to say you know what let me try this let's out. just do it let's you know let's see if it's actually worth it even if all the beers are trash because then at least now we know and at least i guess now you know so and what's funny is that they they uh actually do have their own youtube channel where they review the beers um, and the, each one is lengthy. Like these are half hour reviews. Um, I'm not saying those are bad necessarily, but it's like, I don't know how much you can talk about a, a particular <laughs> beer. They go into like the history of the brewery and all this yeah. stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, but if you guys want to send us more of these, we'll be happy to put them on. But yeah, either way, this one, not up my alley, not the best I've had. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try them all and like Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta try them all. Gotta try them all. All right, guys. Well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.